Good evening, mate, and welcome to Captain Ministry Update 1. Everything we know so far. It's going to be a quick rundown of everything we know so far for Update 1, including the expected release date. But we're going to keep this video fast paced because there'll be a full up video with more information and deeper dive in the near future. So, are we ready? Set, go. Did you ever think it was weird the excavator could only dig out iron with his giant T3 bucket? So did the devs. They made mixed cargo a thing. Now when your excavator is digging, you can be confident he's going to pick up a full bucket, not just one piece of sand. Which also means we've made mixed cargo for the trucks as well. For right now, we don't need a sorting facility. The trucks can sort it out themselves, but that might change in the future. Truck dumping has also had a major change. Rather than the old method where you dump, say, dirt and everything the dirt landed on also behaved like it was made of dirt and the whole side of the mountain might end up in a giant landslide. Well, now you dump materials that retain their individual properties, which means sand falls like sand, rock falls like rock. Oh, and we couldn't just have our trash falling down the side of the mountain like it had the consistency of dirty diapers, so now everything has a stickiness. So no matter what, some of it should stay on the side of the rock face. No one enjoys a low quality rock face that has also been updated with triplanar texture mapping, so the mountains are more mountainy. Oh, they couldn't just stop there, so the whole terrain has been updated and new props have been made. These make the islands feel more natural, that is, till you level the island and build a sprawling factory, which also had a graphics overhaul and a new rendering method, which has removed the flicker that can often be seen in the distance when the game was paused. We've also had a selection of new buildings and production chains hinted. First up, we have the stacker. Plug a belt into the back of it and it will just keep dumping material out the other end. Great for filling in mines as they're cleaned out or for filling in the ocean. We also have the incineration plant, which can now be used to burn trash for actual power. To make moving around easier, we also have the compactor, which can compact more than just waste. And to uncompact, we also need a shredder, which will be required to handle nuclear waste in update number one. Another major change for update one is trees and wood production. Trees that have been undermined will now fall over and the sawmill on the world map has been completely removed. Trees now start life as a sapling in a farm. They are then placed near a forestry tower with a new vehicle aptly named the Tree Planner, delayed to be mowed down by our trusty tree harvester. Trees can now also be placed around the map as decorations or just as obstacles for trucks to drive around. How long before we get a Captain Ministry Mario Kart? The devs have leveraged everything they could for a faster, more optimized game, so bigger factories for everyone. The good news is because of these optimizations, maps can now scale up to 200 square kilometers. How big is 200 square kilometers? Well, this is the New Haven map. Yep, 25 of them. That's 200 kilometers squared. Unfortunately, the map editor has been delayed for now. Aww. But many of the existing maps have been updated. Here is a side by side of New Haven, the original versus update one. To go with our bigger maps, the ocean also had an update. It'd be less static and more reactive during different weather conditions. And if a storm is coming, we'd hate to shut down the trucks for fears of them accidentally running into one another. So now they all carry not only headlights, but also taillights. And they have completely updated models as well. Oh, and with all these new terrain updates, of course the terrain you're storing your sires is going to look different. So this has also been updated. And is it just me who wants to go swimming in the sand? So for now, I ask you, what are you going to be doing whilst you wait for update one? Personally, I'm going to be parked in my excavator waiting for the new update to drop, which is due towards the end of May. Till then, I ask, have you hit the subscribe button yet? Click the like on the video. There's another blog post due from the devs between now and update one. And I can promise you we'll be doing a deeper dive when that is released. Till then, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the very next video. All right, bye.